Are you ready to nail party? Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails. And today I'm so excited to demonstrate for you a short squoval nail using Sculpt Acrylic Gel Hybrid. Now let's get started. Sanitize your hands and your client's hands using Sanitize, 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 available in peach or gardenia. Remove the polish using Fast Acting Polish Remover, available in peach or gardenia. Etch the nail using the 100 grit purple terminator disposable etcher. Go with the way the nail grows from cuticle to free edge. Properly etching the nail eliminates 75% of lifting. Put little scratches in the nail and make sure there's no shiny spots. If there are any shiny spots, then you could have lifting. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. Just let the etcher do the work for you. Get into the nail grooves. Push back the cuticle using the trigium stone. Make sure there's no cuticle that's grown onto the nail because if there's any skin on the nail, this could also cause lifting. Dust off the nail using plastic manicure brush. Apply non-lifting nail primer, dab the brush. This kills all the germs on the nail and dries out the oils in the nail. And then wipe off the brush before you place it back into your bottle so you don't have any contamination. I will be doing a short squoval nail, which is not much longer than her natural nail, but I'm still going to use a nail form. Put a curve in the form, place this form underneath the free edge, stick it down, and then stick together the wings. By applying forms, it makes all the nails more uniform. I will be using the Deluxe Mighty Mini LED Lamp. Apply Stuck On You Bonder Gel Base. This makes the sculpt adhere to the nail. Long strokes. Cover the entire nail. Cure 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini LED, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or 2 minutes in a UV. I will be using the Sculpt Duo brush instead of the Sculpt 6 wide. The Sculpt Duo is smaller for shorter nails and has a pointy silicone tip to scoop smaller beads. Pour a small amount of Shape It Up nail liquid into a glass dish. This is to keep your brush moist during application. I will be using Soft Pink Sculpt. The size of the bead needed will be determined on how long of a nail you want to make. So this nail is going to be barely to a 1, so my bead is going to be very small. So I squeeze out a bead that's about approximately to the 1, and then just about a sixteenth of an inch more for the nail bed. So as you can see, this is a small bead. I just scoop it off. Place it with the rounded edge towards the cuticle. Moisten my brush. And pat it out. Hold your brush at the angle like a pencil. And do your cuticle area first. Go from side to side. Nail groove to nail groove. Start bringing it in, pat it out, start making your free edge, pat it out. We're going to make the nail into a square and then we're going to file the squoval. Bring it all the way over, square it off, get nice and even little liquid, stroke it out, bring in your sides,
I'm going to do a quick cure. 10 to 15 seconds in an LED or 20 to 30 seconds in a UV. Then I can set my C curve. Squeeze your C curve starting down at the nail bed, working your way out towards the free edge. This makes the nail nice and narrow and strong. Now go in for a 60 second full cure in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Remove the form and cure 60 seconds in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. I'm going to file the nails with my long lasting 180 Zebra, but before I file, I'm going to score the edges. This way we don't cut the cuticle. I just throw away my disposable etcher. Step number one, file the nail straight out from the nail groove on the left. Step number two, file the nail straight out from the nail groove on the right. To create the squoval, which is a square oval, you're going to slightly angle your file at about a 45 degree angle. And you're going to go back and forth until the nail is flush with the file. Then you know you have the perfect shape. Step number four is the top of the nail in the cuticle area. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. Down on the side, cross the top, down on the other side. And then there's a little road. Product, natural nail, cuticle. I'm going to place my file into that little road and get the product flush with the natural nail. You shouldn't be able to feel where the natural nail starts and the product ends. It should just be flush. Step number five, turn the nail around from the client's angle and bevel down towards the tip. This is the angle the client's going to be looking at for the next two weeks, and you want to make sure it looks just perfect from their angle. So look at the tip, make sure it's nice and even. If you get a little high spot or low spot, just bevel it out. Buff the nail with the clean finish buffing file. Nice long strokes, similar to filing. And go around your cuticle area. Get it nice and smooth, bevel towards the tip, take off the sharp edges, have the client go wash their hands with a plastic manicure brush and antibacterial soft soak. Apply flawless foundation. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Cure 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or two minutes in a UV. I will be using French Rose Souffle Gel Against Gel Polish. This is a semi-transparent warm pink. Use nice long strokes. Cap the tip, cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Apply your second coat. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip, cure one minute in an LED or two minutes in a UV. Apply Flawless Finish, a super high gloss top gel. Nice long strokes. Cap the tip. Cure 30 seconds in a Mighty Mini, 45 seconds in a regular LED, or two minutes in a UV. Clean off the nail with Clean It. Apply conditioning cuticle oil, available in peach or gardenia. Now you have the short squoval sculpt in soft pink.
Make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.